Thanks. An Omaha couple loses everything they work for in just seconds. Paige Miles could only watch and record the flames destroying her house. Miles' husband and their seven-month-old baby also escaped Sunday afternoon near 19th and P. The fire started in an empty house next door and spread to their home. Thank God that nothing happened to my baby because, like, it's sad that I don't have my things, but I would have died if something happened to my baby. Miles say they have insurance. They hope to rebuild. They're staying at a motel for now. And they do have help from Coram Deo Church. You can drop off donations at the church on 78th Street, just north of Dodge, or you can call 402-505-4111. As for the cause of the fire, Omaha firefighters won't rule out arson. And for arson investigators, a case like this is really nothing new. KETV News Watch 7's Adrian Whitsett joins us live. And Brandy, last year right here at KETV, we reported at least 13 different fires in vacant homes in Omaha really is a growing problem brought to the forefront by that fire that destroyed the Miles' home. I would imagine when they got here, this was probably, had probably already collapsed, you really? know, at that point. Vacant homes, especially those with broken windows and doors, can be hotbeds for fast-moving fires. Generally, the, the fire has spread much more rapidly prior to the arrival of the fire department. Omaha fire investigator Chris Fisher has seen trouble like this for years as kids or the homeless trespass into abandoned homes, setting fires for fun or to keep warm. May have started a fire and, and caused the structure to start on fire, but not necessarily intentionally set the structure on fire. Fisher doesn't know if that's the case in Sunday's two alarm fire. Once and while he's not the working the case, there. other investigators are by looking into witness reports that teens ran out of the house just minutes before the fire. A fire that spread to Paige Miles' home. In her mind, there's no doubt. Maybe not even arson, maybe just by accident. Like it couldn't have started on its own. Either way, Miles and her family are the ones left in the cold. They need to look at how they're affecting other people and now I'm, I don't have a home and I have a baby. Captain Fisher says we should all be on the lookout for potential danger. It's very important for neighbors and, and people in the neighborhood to, to keep an eye out on their neighborhood and, and they can notify the uh, city code enforcement. Uh, to come out holding property owners responsible for the upkeep of the home, working to keep trespassers out to keep another family from losing their home. Call 911 if you see people inside a vacant home that, that should not be there, and, uh, and they'll send officers out immediately to check upon it. And Captain Fisher also gave us some startling statistics from a national perspective. Only 6% of all structure fires are in vacant properties, but of those, nearly half are set intentionally. Back to you. Thanks, Adrian. A family and